friends we are with the eighth video in our vbots ros2 tutorial series so in last video we studied about rvis2 so in this video we will be studying about other debugging tools like rqt graph and ros topic echo and info so we will be using the same example which we used in our video 6 so if you have not seen video 6 do have a look at video 6 and if you want to cheat a bit you can use that project so that project is available on github page of cyberbotics so it is in vbots ros2 tutorial and you will find the project here so today we have made some changes in our project so these are the two nodes which we studied in video 6 which is master node and slave node so today there are some issues in our node and we will do a practical implementation of solving those issues so frankly speaking i also don't know what are the issues in the node so let's run the project so we will do call con build so we'll build the project it has built correctly okay so now we will source it and we will run the project as you see in video 6 we learned about how the robot was following line but unfortunately robot is not following it has stopped for some what reason so we will make this robot work in this video and learn how to use the debugging tools so now let's see what is the issue in this project so first of all we will source the repo and today we will be learning about a tool named rqt graph so if i hit on enter i can see bunch of nodes talking but if you have seen last video where we had this project running you must be knowing that there was a topic named command well which was published by master and was subscribed by slave by this we got an idea that there is something wrong either in publishing or in subscribing we can check that so for now i will close the rqt graph now let's check the list so i do ros to topic list so we have a command velocity topic so let's do ros to topic info and slash command well so i see here there is no one publishing command well but there is one subscriber so we know there is some issue definitely so if i do dash v that means verbose it will give me details of which node is subscribing to command well so we see here slave node is correctly subscribing to the topic but somehow our master node is not publishing it so let's go in our file of master.py so we see here we have created a publisher oops we have an error in the name so we'll solve this it should be c m d command well and let's see if the publisher is publishing correctly so i will take the name control f where i will find where this publisher is publishing and here you go so we have our publisher publishing the updated command so we are getting linear x from here and our linear z is updated here hence we are getting an updated twist here so we'll do the process again so we will quickly call con build it so our project is built now we know we source it and we run the project again oops it started moving but 
it's doing some funky skinning so let's go back to our rqt graph we have our rqt graph already running if i refresh it now i see my command well this is what we were expecting so our master node is publishing to command well and command well is been subscribed by slave node so we are good in terms of rqt graph now the problem is why is it rotating about its own location so one method was using rqt graph now let's see the second method so in this case i think the sensors are publishing the data in a wrong fashion so let's quickly go through echoing the topic so let's source this that up dot bash ross topic my bad ross2 topic echo slash if i double tap it will give me the topics which are been published so let's check the sensors if we do right ir it is publishing fine whenever it is going near the black thing it is publishing yeah it's publishing fine oh so whenever it's on black it's publishing fine now let's see how the mid is publishing so mid ir slash mid ir yeah our mid ir is also fine it is getting the values as expected now last thing being left ir oh so we found an issue our left ir is not publishing the value that is why it is just getting one value as zero and other values fine that is why it is doing such funky motion that means now we know that there this is an issue in our slave node so we go back to slave node and we see are we correctly publishing ir sensors so if i see the name of my node which is distance sensor left which is fine i see the publisher being made which is left ir this is also fine now let's check where this publisher is publishing so if i do control f i don't see this publishing because it's just used in one place so we see here that right and mid are being published but poor left is not being published so if i control v oops we can use the same notation here control c and replace it by left everything else remains same here again left okay so now we see publisher being used here as well so we found our second issue as well So if I close the project, call con build it. And source it again, launch it. So if we do this, yeah, it's working fine. So these are some of the methods which can be used. There are many other methods in ROS. That is why ROS is really handy and used by many robotics engineers in your projects you will definitely see such issues where your nodes are not correctly publishing or they are publishing to some wrong topic so these are some of the tools in next video we will see some more advanced tools to debug that was all for today's video do like share and subscribe to our channel thank you